one of the things that I appreciate about the Brain Preservation Foundation is that uh, Ken and the community have done a good job of lining up a, a series of goals that have impact today in brain banking and doing a better job of even conventional research. I don't know what wild things will happen in the future, but I do know that, that today people do die of horrible diseases and a lot of our inability to understand neuroscience comes down to the fragility of neural systems and how hard they are to work with. There is an emerging field of connectomics that really aims to analyze and understand the structural networks that exist within our brains and our nervous systems. The way that we preserve human brains um, for research has not changed much since the 50s and 60s. And that was good for the research that was being done at the time, but now we need to go further and we need to resolve structures better than we have in the past. What we're trying to do with the BPF is sort of uh, supplant that gold standard with something that's even better. Better brain banking technology is really valuable to medicine. Every time we've gotten better at preserving biological structures so they can be studied, uh, we've gotten progress towards curing diseases. The, the class of diseases of neuro neurodegeneration have been very hard to understand because they're very diffuse across you know, whole brain volumes. There are questions that we have as a scientific community about the spatial relationships between different components of disease in brains, like different kinds of plaques and glial cells and vasculature and the kinds of techniques that are being developed by the community around the Brain Preservation Foundation, those help us understand and develop cures to diseases like Alzheimer's disease, which everyone agrees are bad. You've got people who want to donate their brains to science and they want to fight back against, uh, against disease and they want to expand human knowledge. And I think that's an incredible gift that people give to the medical community and we want to be able to respect and honor that gift by preserving their brain better than what our current techniques are. And there, there's a lot of room for improvement in that. Mm -hmm.